In this presentation, we're going to go over the solution to the working with pivot tables exercise. I have the pivot tables workbook open here, and I want to first insert a pivot table for my data here. I'm going to click in my data, and then I'm going to select the insert tab of the ribbon and click pivot table. The create pivot table dialog box is going to open. I'm going to confirm that my range of data is correct, and it is. This is the range of data that is my entire table. And then I'm going to make sure new worksheet is selected, which is where I want my pivot table to be inserted, and click OK. And you'll see a new sheet has opened up here with my pivot table fields pane open on the right. Now we're going to set up the pivot table. I'm going to drag company into the rows area, then sale amount into the values box here because I want to show the row labels and the sum of the sale data. Now I want to set up my sale amount as currency, so I'm going to select sum of sale amount here. I'm going to select the arrow, then I'm going to select value field settings, which is going to open the value field settings dialog box. I'm going to select number format, and then in the format cells I'm going to click currency, and I'm going to change it to zero decimal places, and click OK. And I'm going to click OK again. And then you'll see here in this column, the sum of sale amount, it's changed these values into dollars with no decimal places showing. Next, we're going to insert a pivot chart. In this pivot chart, we would like to show total sales by company. So on this Analyze Pivot Table Tools tab, we are going to select the pivot chart option here. We want to insert a pie chart. So I'm going to click the pie option here. I'm going to click OK and drag this over to, and here's my pivot chart displaying my data. Next, we're going to insert another pivot table. So I'm going to go back to my data on my original sheet and click in my data, select the insert tab, click pivot table. I want this to appear on a new worksheet and I'm confirming that it's showing all of my data. So I'm going to click okay. I want this pivot table to display total sales by calendar year for each industry. So to set this up, I'm going to drag industry here, click and drag it into the rows area. I'm going to select calendar year and drag it into the columns area. And my value is going to be sales. So I'm going to click sale amount and drag it into values. So now my pivot table is showing my row labels and it's showing values by year, including a grand total but I want it to display currency with a dollar sign and no decimal point. I'm going to select sum of sale amount here in the values box, click value field settings, select number format, click currency, and I'm going to move this to zero decimal places and click OK, click OK once more. And now you'll see my pivot table is showing dollar signs in front of my amounts with no decimal points. My last step, I like to add slicers to show sales by product and salesperson. So I'm going to select insert slicer here. And I want to show product. I'm going to click it and select it and salesperson and click OK. And now you'll see here my, are my two slicers. This is another way to filter my data other than by industry, which is showing in my pivot table. So I can just click on these and clear them to show my sales by product and by salesperson. Coming up next, you'll test your knowledge of using pivot tables by completing a quiz.